Good morning, YouTube. That was freaking terrible. Good morning, guys. So it is roughly about 7.30 in the morning. As you can tell, the back of my apartment is a complete and utter disaster zone. And I'm going to tell you why, because I'm excited for this video, because I am teaming up with Wow Train. Thanks. I am teaming up with my favorite brand, Zipcar. And I will explain to you guys what Zipcar is as this video goes through. But what we are doing today in this video is I'm teaming up, teaming up with Zipcar to purge my closet because one of the beautiful blessings of what I do is that I have an abundance of clothes, but the curse in having an abundance of clothes is I have nowhere to keep it. I get so many pieces, articles of clothing a month. I literally am overrun with my own clothes in my apartment. I don't have space for everything and everybody. So today I'm teaming up with Zipcar and basically to donate my clothing to Goodwill. Now, why I chose Goodwill is because Goodwill is the easiest place for me to donate the amount of clothes that I have. I have called and I have emailed a couple of other domestic violence shelters within the area and a lot of places have, one, not gotten back to me, two, cannot accept the volume of clothes that I have. And I've offered, like, listen, can I donate a bag or two and it just was not working out so goodwill it is and i have donated to goodwill plenty of times over the years so let's take a look at what we got going on today huh come on let's take a look so here is my fabulous living room so this is the pile that i'm going to uh take to the dry cleaner and or wash so this is my keep pile that this mountain of clothing is the leaving going pile. I was going to fold it, but then I realized that I know Goodwill just dumps everything out anyway, so why fold it? That just doesn't make sense. Um, so this is what's going, and then this is actually the corner where I get all of my, when I, my packages come in for my videos. They go in this corner, and they kind of just sit here. So pretty much everything over here you can't see it because there's like a bunch of junk. Everything over here is going. <laughs> and then somewhere in the back over there, I do have a suitcase that has a bunch of clothes in it. So this clothes in that suitcase are going as well. So what I'm going to do today is I am going to head and pick up my zip car. And then I am going to Home Depot because I want to get like those heavy duty trash bags like the really really solid ones because i've gone to cbs and they don't ever have none strong enough and i don't want to have 15 bags i prefer to have maybe three or four that i can fit all of that in as well and just be able to just go to goodwill and drop everything off i've been using zipcar for like forever and a day now it is how i do a lot of my pictures once i leave the house but typically, whenever I decide to get a zip car, I usually try to look at the colleges in the area. They usually have the cheapest cars, or at least the cheapest per hour price. And right now, I'm waiting on my Uber to take me to um, the nearest, well, not the nearest, but one of the places I like to get my cars generally. Like, it's a favorited location in my Uber <laughs> So I can go ahead and get this car and we can get this day started like it's early and I want to get this done I want my house clean and I'm really looking forward to like really overhauling my closet too. So That should be fun. Why is my hair looking crazy? What is happening? But like side note, hello skin. So it's stuck a little dark patches here, but We cute today mm -hmm. Yep, and you can pull over right here. This is perfect Yep Right here. Thank you. Have a good day. So I'm sure you guys have seen these little things here that say zip car on them. They're at a lot of different areas around most major cities. It'll say zip car. The back of the cars either will have a zip car sign on them or they will have a zip car thing here on the back. When you join Zipcar, you guys, you get a zip card. This is what you use to unlock your car and to lock your car. I think this one is mine. So you just tap it to the top of that thing, unlocks the car, and boom, you hop in the car. The keys are always already in the car. Oh my gosh, who had this car before I did? Holy fuck. Yeah. Okay, so we're in the car, you guys. 
And you can see here, they leave you leave the keys in the car. They tell you to leave the keys in the car. If the key is removed, you get charged. So leave the key in the car, folks. So I like to leave my zip card in the car as I am running errands or whatever. But also, once you unlock the car the first time, like your initial getting in the car, you can then act, you activate, you can lock, unlock the car using the Zipcar app, which I use plenty of times, especially if I'm moving and grooving and I'm like, okay, either leave the card in my bag or leave the card in the car. I just make sure that I can lock and unlock the car while I use my phone and with that being said i'm gonna head to home depot so i can get this garbage bags um or i go to lowe's we'll see whoever's closest um and then because starting to rain outside i don't know if you guys can see but it's starting to rain outside so i want to get this get everything packed up and i want to head to goodwill you guys are probably wondering why Zipcar girl just go ahead and rent yourself a car so Zipcar allows for so much more freedom and it's super convenient because sometimes you just need a car for like an hour or two even if you need a, a car for a full day Zipcar is much more affordable it's a lot easier to get especially for those of you who cannot rent cars yet or you don't have credit cards to rent cars so now you know some of these rental places are getting real funny with the debit cards i know i've been there whereas Zipcar, i could go ahead and reserve it days in advance pay way less everything is already covered for you or if i need to quickly do some running around run some errands i can get a car for a couple hours and spend no more than like 30 bucks and it's done it's a done deal i was able to get my christmas tree all of the Christmas my Christmas tree errands I did using a zip car. A lot of my outfit photos where I have to do three or four looks and I can go to three or four locations in New York. I get a zip car, I can change the car, do what I have to do, return the car. If I know I have to do like a heavy grocery shopping, I can get a car for an hour, be able to take all my groceries home and be comfortable put it in the house, return the car, and I'm good to go. I live in an area where I have multiple um, points of access to a zip car location. A lot of colleges have zip car options that are way, way cheaper. I've gotten cars for like $8.50 an hour. Like it's just super convenient, it's super easy, and honestly, you guys, Give it a try. Like if it doesn't work for you, it doesn't work for you. But I just feel like it gets so much done when you don't have access to a car every day or you just can't afford to be paying for a rental car all of the time. <laughs> but um, it is currently raining outside. So I'm going to try to get this stuff all packed up. I'm thinking I might just separate out like dresses, bottoms, tops just so I can have some sort of organization so I don't just throw everything in bags. But um, yeah, all of this is going to go. And like I said, I have a suitcase of stuff that has to go as well. So I'm gonna empty out the suitcase in a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started with all of this mess here. And I'll see you guys back when we're heading downstairs to put stuff in the car.
So now that I have everything packed up, we're about to head down to the car. So four big black bags and one small white bag. That's five bags close that are gonna go to a new home, whoever gets them. So let's get out of here. I got the AC on full blast up in here, you guys. I'm not even gonna lie to you about it. And after moving all them bags, your girl is tired, okay? She tired. So I really hope that I don't look crazy in this video or in these pictures because <laughs> I'm tired. But you guys see how super easy it was. Got me a car, packed up everything in my car, and what, lady, wow. Packed up everything in my car, and now we're off to go drop us off at Goodwill. So, see, simple, simple. Only a couple of hours. Like I said, if you need a car for like an hour just to run errands, you can do that. If you need it for the full day to like run to the beach, you can do that. You could, however long you need it. And you could just, you know, attach your credit card or whatever. Um, and Zipcar is super good. The, the customer service has always been good with me. Like I've had a couple of run-ins where people forgot, had took the keys out the car. Um, or the car wasn't back on time. But every single time I've ever called their customer service, it's been spot on. Also, you guys, my skin. Mm -hmm, she dry today, but that's okay. It's just one of them days. It's one of them days. But low key, sometimes when I get a zip car, it does make me miss having like my own car, honestly. I have not had a car in over a year and some change, but I live in New York, I don't necessarily need it also it's an extra cost so that's why zip car is good like you can still have access to driving without paying their insurance car note gas maintenance you know it just all works out in the end to have a zip car so we made it here you guys now we just gotta wait for somebody to come i'm sorry you have to ring the bell sorry just ring the bell yeah Oh, I don't know.
urusannya. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. We did it, you guys. Don't need clean everything. Now it's time to got some breakfast. Well, lunch, actually. And just like that, it's all done. <laughs> Car is empty. Trunk is empty. <laughs> Closet is hella empty. So, woo! Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so excited. And I know some people say don't give to Goodwill because of whatever, whatever. As much as I would, I prefer to go to domestic violence shelters, homeless shelters, they're a lot harder for me, I've, in my experience, to get as much stuff as I have to a place that's going to use it. And I know Goodwill is easy. Goodwill, I get my receipts for my taxes. So, like, I, I just prefer to donate all my clothes. I mean, as much as I, some of you always ask about Poshmark, and I have sold on Poshmark before, but it's just so tedious. i am be honest with you guys, I don't have the patience for Poshmark and the thing is like what if something doesn't sell it's sitting in my house for four or five months if it doesn't sell on Poshmark so what do I do with it you know what I'm saying so it's just easier I rather donate my stuff at least I know it's gonna go somewhere even if they someone buys it secondhand I don't care as long as someone who deserves it gets it and at least I know that it's going somewhere that's either gonna provide jobs that's going to provide something for someone else i get i am blessed to have so many clothes to the point where i'm overflowing so um the least i can do at the smallest amount as a human and as a person and as someone who has an abundance of blessings the least i can do is donate what i have so thank you to Zipcar for sponsoring this video and sponsoring the car to get me around in order to be able to do what I want to do today. I really wanted to donate my clothes and I'm so happy that I was able to purge my closet. Five bags, you guys, five bags of clothes went to Goodwill so it'll ultimately help somebody else. And Zipcar, thank you again for, for providing this course in order to get me to and from. I was able to get all of my errands done this morning. <laughs> so the rest of the day is mine. So thank you guys so much for watching. Watching. As always, I am Shayna of AthickersCloset.com and I will see you in my next video. Deuces, guys.